we'll just say he's been very generous. Yes. We'll say that. Yes. And he did give me, you know, uh, what do you even call it? I don't know. He did. A gift. He did g- yeah, give me a, a gift. Yeah, a financial gift. Yes, yeah. he, he did. And he is the one who brought it up. And I was like, I just. It's awkward, it's so isn't it? It's so awkward. Yeah. It's so awkward. But I was like, wow, this is so nice of you (laughs) thank you and then he bought me jewelry and bought me things and wined and dined me and flew me first class Mm -hmm. welcome to secrets of a sugar daddy here's your host marcus welcome to another episode of secrets of a sugar daddy The number one sugar dating podcast in Jamaica, man, and the rest of the world, where we pull back the curtains on the good and the bad, and it's just me today and a couple guests, but the shocking, shocking stories of sugar dating. Lily could not make it today. She had a little family issue come up, so it's just me hosting, but we've got a couple guests today that... It's going to be a really fun show, and I've got some good questions lined up <laughs> that they are unaware of. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? Let me think here. This episode will come out, I think, right at the end of October. So if you have not signed up for our party yet, you are running out of time. But here's the thing. You still want to sign up, even if you don't get chosen, because we are going to have more parties. There's lots of good artists that come through town. Bands love the Phoenix area, and we are going to get more suites and more packages together. And if you enter, we'll automatically roll you over to the next contest. So be looking for that on our website. If you want to enter for a chance to win tickets to a suite, private suite, all you can eat, all you can drink to see Ricky Martin, Enrique Iglesias, and Mr. Worldwide Pitbull. Yeah, go fill out the survey. And that will come to us, and then uh, you'll get in line for this concert. It's going to be a weekend of November 24th, 25th, and 26th. It also includes three days and two nights of lodging, a pre-party at my house, and we just secured the transportation to and from the party. It's a 22-person party bus with LED lights and a stripper pole. (laughs) So that's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, just go to our website and uh, all the information is there. Also too, we want to thank Pod Populi for this beautiful studio. My guests are all curled up in these plush chairs. If you want to start a podcast, they're a lot of fun and you can maybe even make money at it one day. That would be a nice thing if we could actually make money at this, but uh, we're getting close. Hire me and I'll make you some money. Yeah, well, I'll bring you in (laughs) when I feel like bringing you in. (laughs) And then finally, Maria Scaptura. She's a good friend of ours who advertised last year. She's a PhD student at the University of Arkansas. And she has some research money that she has given us. It's a small amount, but we do appreciate that. And we want you to help her out and get her money's worth. It's a quick survey. If you go to our website, there's a link that says survey. And it's a little one to two minute survey. You can click a few questions and then you can also do a phone interview with her. It's unrecorded. You don't even have to give your name, but it's going to give her valuable data and information about sugar dating. And this research that she's doing is actually sanctioned by the University of Arkansas. So it's going to be cool. We, we encourage you to participate that, especially since she actually paid money to get this message out there. So let's show her some love and get her money's worth and, It'll help all of us. All right, on to my guest. These are great friends of the show and now personal friends of ours. And uh, I want to welcome, <laughs> I want to welcome the almost world famous podcast fanboy <laughs> and Katie, who's been on our show now. And these two have met because of the podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, so, hello, podcast <laughs> fanboy. Hello, Katie. Hello. Hello, Marcus. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. Thanks right. for having so us back. <laughs> we talked about this in the past shows, but we had a triple date last night. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. Katie, what do you think of, well, first of all, you've heard about Maple and Ash probably on our podcast mm-hmm. and the Beverly. 
and you got to experience both of those. So those yeah. Beverly is a, a bar here in Old Town Scottsdale that we really love to go to. And you posted some really cool photos on Instagram. Yeah. I love that. That's my thing. Yeah. I'm such an attention whore when it yeah. comes to social media. <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't happen on social media, did it really happen? I have right. to post it. Now, you know that the Beverly, or maybe you don't know, was owned by a sugar daddy. I did not know that. So did if you, you know that podcast know, no, family? Did, did you happen to notice the names of the drinks? Oh, my goodness. We really, we need to go back. We yeah. have to go back now. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> they have a lot of sugar influence <laughs> okay. in my the names goodness. of the drinks. Yeah, it's a lot of it's fun. It's all coming together now. Yeah. Now I, it makes sense. Okay. I, I didn't know that. I told Katie it was a popular place for sugar daddies and sugar babies <laughs> to go. You know, I've know done a lot of meet and greets there. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I talked about this one on an extra sugar I not too long ago. I did a meet and greet there where the girl literally ran out of the out of the bar. Do what you did remember you do that? To her? I didn't do anything to her. I think she was double booked. Oh. <laughs> I think she had another game. I mean it happens, that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That she was probably late for. She's popular. That's our guess. Okay. Yeah. You didn't upset her. No, I didn't. We had a great time. That's oh. why it was so shocking to me that like literally she ran. I saw her running out of the bar (laughs) did you see her again after that night no so Uh and i talked about this this was a dilemma that i came across is because i didn't always compensate for a meet and greet Mm -hmm. but after doing the show and hearing what the girls go through and the (laughs) time they spend and getting ready and all this stuff i've kind of changed my tune right the struggle i do appreciate it it's a lot of work now it's not my normal allowance amount, but I'll give them a little something just for showing up, right? Yeah. And I told her I would. Well, as she's getting up out of her seat, she gives me a kiss on the cheek and she starts leaving. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. How am I supposed to send you the gift I promised you? And she's like, oh, just sell it to me. And she literally like runs out the door and I'm like, oh, that's weird. So I'm, I just ordered another drink mm-hmm. and the bartender serves it to me. And now I'm sitting here by myself. All these people in the bar all have these conversations going on. And I'm just in there by myself, very mm-hmm. uncomfortable. Yeah. And it started pissing me off. <laughs> so I go home and I'm just thinking about, do I send this to her or not? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I said I would, mm-hmm. but it was just so, I was so rude the way yeah. it ended. Yeah, very abruptly. So yeah. I polled our listeners and it was pretty much 50-50. But yeah, some of them say, yep, yeah, you owe her. And others will say, Fuck that bitch. <laughs> yeah. So it was 50 Because she wasn't there that long with you either. No, no. So, so well, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. That all happened at that bar. So much has happened at that bar. Yeah. It sounds like. All right. Just to get our audience caught up yeah. on YouTube, because we're getting new listeners every day. We really are the number one podcast in jamaica we just hit number one there so we appreciate all of our jamaica listeners wow that's pretty fun people, huh? maybe a lot of people are on vacation wanting yeah. and listening to the I show maybe know. i yeah. don't know you know who was number two? Oh, that was in uh we had another one where we were number one and dr sex fairy was number two i don't even know who that is <laughs> she records <laughs> out good. of the florida studio oh, Popular studio well now yeah. i have to look her up yeah she's got a great show she's gone video now she's doing oh. more video i mean that sounds like a show that yeah. should be on video yeah yeah but she talks about all kinds of sexual issues that oh, during nice. dating that come up and she does a lot of treatments for people to oh, help cool. keep them one fact that she did get she said 20 percent of 20 people in their 20s have some form of ed and it goes up 10 percent every 10 years so 30 percent of the 30 year olds 40 percent of 50 percent of the 50 year olds and so on so that doesn't it's a very me. yeah it's a very common issue that I mean, she deals with surprising though for 20 somethings but yeah. I, in this generation i've been yeah. hearing a lot of things like that i yeah. think life is different so she now. has a very interesting perspective on different sexuality functions and mm-hmm. things like that and then she just put out a fun instagram reel that says that did the top three sexual positions oh. preferred sexual positions oh gosh were, were they surprising or was it missionary doggy and what do you think was number one uh, number one woman on top whatever that's Cowgirl. called that uh, was doggy it was doggy. Oh, yeah, number one. okay okay number two woman on top yeah yeah right. number three missionary. missionary yeah yeah pretty pretty, pretty basic uh, pretty standard yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what Alejandra likes. Oh, tell can, can you tell, tell me? I mean, woman on top. 
Oh, oh really? Oh, she has complete control that way. And it's Love probably it. easier to reach yeah. the big My <laughs> ex-wife was the same way. Is that right? That was her favorite position, yeah. Mm. To, when she wanted to get there, that was the position. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's actually mm-hmm. mine, too. <laughs> the woman, woman on top? Yes. Yeah. Is it? Absolutely. I didn't know that podcast fan. <laughs> I mean, I sh- should know that. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, so back to you guys. All right, so just a quick primer to get everybody caught up. Podcast fanboy. <laughs> I still love that name that uh, Lily gave you. and But it's true. It is very it, true. It describes you. You're mm-hmm. 66. Yes, I am. And you found the show through a sugar baby, a mutual sugar baby that I had met. Exactly. Gosh, a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. She introduced you to the show. She was on, you said uh, episode 19. 19, I believe. Yeah, so that was early on since we're well in the hundreds now. And uh, she told you about the show, and you started listening, and then you just started getting involved with the characters. Yep. I binged, and these I, are characters. I characters. binged until I got caught up. I've seen mm-hmm. you go through numerous co-hosts. Yeah. Seen that evolution and, and have not missed an episode since. Yeah. So we appreciate you being maybe our biggest podcast fanboy. I think so. Yeah. We have a podcast fangirl, too. So we I actually heard. got a couple of them. She's from New Jersey, right? Yeah, she's coming to the party. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, she messages us all the time, and we do appreciate, we do read them. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no way she was not going to be invited to the party. Aww, yeah, so awesome. we're actually paying her airfare all the way from New Jersey. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. We look forward to meeting her. And then Katie, Yeah. you're from a small Midwestern town I, of 5,000 uh, people, it right? It is, yeah. Yeah, 5,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> I actually grew up in a Texas town of 5,000 people, oh. so I can appreciate Yes. Yep. Small until we moved to a big town mm-hmm. of 20,000 people. That is a step up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're just yes. three small town people here, though, because yeah. yep. my hometown was 2,000 people. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. So we are those good small town roots. We yeah. got those. Yeah. <laughs> so you were on our podcast a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. and just to refresh everybody podcast fanboy was episode 100 his episode and i've still to this day <laughs> claim that he has paid people to listen to it because the numbers were i you know there's numbers that we expect you know and, and they go up and down yeah. every day his shot through the roof and i told lila i was like i don't know what's going on here the numbers are going cr- off the charts crazy with wow. episode 100 because he listens to it all day on loop, all yeah. day. That's all we listen to. I, I think he went on Fiverr and just hired all of India or something to start <laughs> to download the yeah. episode because the numbers were fantastic and they're still good. But you know what? In the last 90 days, our second most popular episode was yeah. yours, Katie. You're Shut I the am front not door. Even Come on. You. Yeah. Well, it was the longest because <laughs> it was pretty long. <laughs> I talk so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yay. So that was good. <laughs> so then what happened is podcast fanboy reaches out and says, Hey, uh, you know, she seemed pretty uh <laughs> pretty attractive and I like what she said. Do you mind if I reached out to her? I'm like, go right ahead, podcast fanboy. <laughs> Well, okay, you saw me, though, too, right, Podcast Fanboy? Because, yeah, through social media. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, he was able yeah. to link you up through social yep, media? Yep, yep, I yep. think, is that what I shared with you? Well, I put two and two together because yeah. of who she was on with before yeah. and yeah. looked that yes. up. Oh, And, and that's then I right. saw links to her social right. media, so. Okay. Yeah, we just don't talk about that episode, but right. I've, yeah, been on a few times. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys started texting? Yes, we did. You we never s- FaceTime though. We did not. So Which we, I find surprising. I know. It's a lot of it is surprising actually because well, we started talking over social media and then we moved it to text. And we never even had a phone conversation before we met in person. Yeah. And I flew out there. So <laughs> text conversations were so great. It was like I really got a feel for who he was. Yeah, but I've had <laughs> oh. I've had some amazing texting sessions with somebody and then when in person I met them, I'm just like Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, I didn't know you were shaped like a bell. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I think, so, I, yeah. I think the reason it worked for us is we both had credibility because of you yes. guys. Okay. True. Y- you knew both of us. Mm-hmm. And uh, so yeah. it wasn't like we were just shooting into the dark. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I was obviously not a catfish. It was right. my job. You know what yeah. I did. And then you were verifiable as well. So, yeah. <laughs> and well, podcast fanboy, you've been in the sugar dating lifestyle for approximately how long? Four years. Four years. Four years. Okay. Now, there were, it was interrupted by a brief marriage. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, sometimes that shit happens. Yeah. I know. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you're very familiar with it. But Katie, on the other hand, this is all new territory for her. And it she's is. had a, we talked about a few mm-hmm. experiences that you've had. Yeah. Have yeah. you had any sense? No, just the same, just okay. podcast fanboy. So yeah. yeah. So your next move was to fly out yeah. and spend Labor Day weekend mm-hmm. with podcast fanboy in the mountains. It was. W- were you really nervous? No, I wasn't nervous. You weren't at nervous all. at all. No, because you never physically talked to him. But I had heard his voice on your episode. Well, that's I knew true. his whole life story. <laughs> like we have, we talked over text a ton, and it would just. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe that was dumb of me. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, sometimes we just live adventurously, and and that's part of the thrill of life. It, it wasn't even really an. Adv- I just knew he was who he said he was. Yeah. I just knew how it was gonna go. It was. Yeah. I wasn't nervous. Okay. I was excited. What was your thoughts when you actually met him? Oh. Like you saw him physically. The first thoughts that came through your mind. I was like, "Whoa, you're tall. <laughs> I like that." <laughs> How tall are you? Six one. Okay. Yeah. Taller than I expected, which was great. And uh, you, you are how tall, Katie? Five four. But that, I always wear heels. Yeah, that works, yeah, that works great. great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. So you were a little surprised how tall he was. Yeah, just he was there at the bottom of the escalator waiting for me when I got there. Obviously. Did you I, recognize him oh, immediately? Yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> he yeah. with the big grin on his face. <laughs> he, was. he was so happy. There was, was one happy guy in the airport. Right <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> yeah. But we, uh, I was so dumb. I way overpacked for that trip. Remember how? Yes. Well, okay. Backtrack. He flew me first class, which was amazing. Isn't so, that fun? Uh-huh. Have you flown first class I, before? Only once. Well, but so it's a treat. It was, I've flown dozens of times, uh-huh. but it's still every time I yeah. get it. It such was a treat. awesome. So because of that, I had a higher available weight limit for my bag, which oh. was a big perk. And I packed so much. <laughs> Didn't I pack so much? You did. You did. You could have made all four seasons out there. <laughs> I just could have lived there. Yeah. yeah. So... That yes, so we had to wait for my bag though, and it took forever in the airport, small airport. It's so slow. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was great. Right away. All yeah. right, podcast fanboy, what were your first thoughts? I see her coming down the escalator, right? Yeah. And I thought to myself, Bingo, baby. What did I <laughs> do to deserve being so lucky? Oh there we God. Go. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's she's just so beautiful and so classy and put together, and she's got the big smile on her face, and <laughs> then. The first greeting, she's just so vivacious, just you know, bubbly and fun. Yeah. And well, Lily and I met her for the very first time last night, and I can attest to everything podcast fanboy. <laughs> you guys just are going to make me in cry. As, as her <laughs> social media, yeah, no catfishing there, no at all. Oh, thank you. Okay, so you yeah. picked her up. You guys made some small talk. How long was the drive back to your place? It was pretty long. It's about an hour and fifteen minutes, yeah. but I. It took us a little longer because I wanted to show her some things in the bigger city that she flew into. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where I used to live. And then yes. we went up to my cabin. Okay. Mountains, yeah. So. He showed me like his old house and a few things. And it was such a beautiful drive too. So. Yeah. yeah. And how was the cabin? Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. <laughs> the cabin was amazing. Oh, I mean, it was just like even more breathtaking than I imagined. And the views you have to take this like crazy gravel dirt road on the side of like a mountain to get to it. I was uh-huh. like, Were you white knuckling we? it? Is uh-huh. that where she was white knuckling it? No, no, that was no. later. That, that was, was later. later. Okay. <laughs> but just absolutely gorgeous. The town, so cute. Very peaceful, huh? Yeah, but it's a cute little town. Shops just everywhere and yeah. little bars and pubs. And it was, I loved it, everything about it. It's actually a pretty active little town. You know, mm-hmm. so many small towns in America are kind of dying out Mm -hmm. this one has not it's got a very active tourism industry oh wow and they and they put on events during Mm -hmm. the year that or during the summer that brings people in and there's a ski resort there too so they're busy in the winter they tend to thrive as much as you can in small town america so yeah there's there's a good buzz there so totally and i have so much i want to talk about so where do we start because i want to talk about the trip too it was so awesome we want to hear all about it so I follow you on social media yeah. and I watch all of your videos and you love <laughs> making videos. I do. So I love it. there's plenty to watch. <laughs> it's kind of my job, you know. I but do I was that, impressed but... and a little surprised because I didn't know this about you, of your painting skills. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm a little impressed and surprised at my painting skills. You know, I like in high school, 
every art class, every, everything I took, even in college a little bit, but I had not painted since I was in high school. And I was so inspired by this trip. Like it just like brought out all this stuff in me, the trip to Montana. I just came home and I was like, I want to paint it. So I just was going by a picture that I took out the, off the deck. That's yeah. his front yard, basically. Yeah, it there. was a beautiful landscape view of mountains and mm-hmm. the sky. And Podcast Fanboy's house, mm-hmm. I learned, has lots of beautiful art and paintings mm-hmm. in there. And I, I was admiring them last night when we were over there. But he, your little painting, mm-hmm. that's the highlight <laughs> of his It is. It's my, my most precious possession now. Yeah. It is beautiful. And I've got it posted in a place that I will see it. 15 times a day yeah. as I walk by that. So. I love Aww. that. That's so sweet. It made me <laughs> no, feel good. It was the sweetest gift I've ever received in my life. Yeah, it was very oh my personal. It, very personal. And I knew she had done it, but the last thing I expected was her to give it away to like, me. You yeah, know, so. I did it for him. That's I really like. I was like, I hope this turns out good because I would like to give it to him for a gift just to say thank you for everything he did. Well, so. and I had seen photographs of it before mm-hmm. and they were very nice and she would compare it to the photograph that she was painting from yeah but to see this thing in person yeah it's a whole new level <laughs> right. it's just gorgeous yeah thank you <laughs> really cool all right so tell us about night oh. one. Oh, night one okay <laughs> that's usually the awkward night because you're kind of trying to feel each other out and, it really wasn't awkward. well if it wasn't that's a good thing yeah so First of all, shout out to Rent the Runway. because I would love for them to sponsor me. Yeah. <laughs> I got a really cute dress that I put on. And we went to a wonderful Italian restaurant, very like authentic Italian restaurant in the town. And it's such a fun place. Everyone, there's like a point in the evening, everybody gets up. They just start playing like music, like certain songs. Everyone gets up and they do like a... Conga like line. a conga line through the whole restaurant everyone's dancing oh, that's fun. it was so fun the food was amazing the atmosphere was great it was super fun and then we went to a little bar before that and got a drink too and i met one of his friends and the owner and bartender of course. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so first night was great it was great yeah how much do you want to know? We want to know everything. We, okay, so we did the first night sleep in separate bedrooms. I mean, like, it's the first night. Yeah, that's is what that, I'm saying. It's a little yeah. awkward sometimes. Yeah, you so don't know where there the, was that. the boundaries yeah. are yet. Just, like, getting to know each other. Yeah. And I was tired. Like, I live in a different time zone and stuff. So, You know me, Marcus. I'm not presumptuous about anything. Mm-hmm. And I know that first day after traveling yeah. can be pretty challenging. You're tired. And I don't ever want to keep somebody up when they're tired you know what i mean so and it's nice to have a little privacy too when you're going to a strange place you've never been before so you know set her up in a nice bedroom oh yeah the most i still like after i got home i was like can you look and see what brand those pillows are because i (laughs) would like to buy some of those the best most comfortable bed best pillows ever i think the dog might have slept with me that night. I can't remember. Well, she did just about she, every night. Yeah, I think. she liked me a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. So that was night one. Day two, horseback riding. We went horseback riding. Yeah. I had never been horseback riding in my never. life. Mm-mm. And it was, ah, uh, <laughs> there, I like, there were a couple, it's just almost like this trip was so amazing. It, I get tears in my eyes talking about it. But like the horseback riding, I had never done it. There were so many points. I was like, this is this really happening right now the stuff that we did was like some people that's like a once in a lifetime experience to be in the montana mountains riding on horseback going through like these trails and stuff it makes me teary i'm just very thankful i have to tell you the best (laughs) the best part of that ride of course it's it's a beautiful ride you're surrounded by these mountains i can imagine and they're they're good horses too They're, they're not you know too uh, flighty or anything <laughs> but there's this one spot where we have to cross this pretty deep creek yeah and and it doesn't flow really fast it's probably three or four feet deep so you have to lift your feet up mm-hmm. uh so you don't get your boots wet when you go across and the guide mm-hmm. told her she said okay your horse has a tendency to want to like get a little frisky in the middle of the uh-huh. creek and i was up on the hill above and i was filming down at her when she got sure enough that horse got in the middle of the creek and started dancing. Playing. Right like there in the water. Splashing Aww. my horse. He knew that my horse, he was like, I have a special surprise for you later. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> that horse 
loves the stream. So my horse was like splashing. It was so fun, really fun. So yeah, it was an amazing, actually, and I think I was pretty good at riding. Too. You're a natural. Yeah. So I came home from that trip. I'm like, I were, were you a little sore? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect to be as sore as I was, yeah. but I was sore the whole rest of the trip and still sore when I got yeah, home. I, you know, growing up in Texas and lived in a small area, we had opportunities to ride many horses. And yeah, I, it's always surprising how sore yeah. that your inner thighs are and your oh, legs are. Not yeah. just that. I mean, some <laughs> other things were sore too. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a fantastic day. Oh, we also, we went shopping. Yes, we did. Podcast fanboy took me shopping on mm-hmm. a little shopping trip through the town and bought me some gifts and they were really nice. I was not expecting that actually. He bought me I don't have it on. I should have worn it. A ring Mm -hmm. and a bracelet, beautiful turquoise and silver, you know, where that's the kind of stuff they have there. And this super cool cowboy hat. He spent a lot of money on that shopping trip. I was hesitant. I was like, no, come on now. He's like, this is nothing. Come on. (laughs) I'm buying this for you. So you're not used to being spoiled like that. No, I'm not used to being spoiled. I'm used to like being the opposite of spoiled. So this is all very new to me. So it was, but didn't you kind of hope that's what you were going to get with sugar dating? I mean, I hoped, but I didn't, I don't have any, Mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't know. So I didn't know. I mean, this is so weird to me. This I've never had anything like this before. And I'm, this is new to me. If only I knew about stuff like this in my (laughs) twenties. I know. I've heard that from many, many guests. Yeah. So yeah, beautiful bracelet, beautiful ring, sexy cowboy hat. And I let him pick it out. Mm -hmm. I let, he helped me pick it out, but, um, I wanted him to like it. And he was like, I was crazy. (laughs) He likes it a lot. Yeah. And then I wore that. And we got some spectacular pictures of her on horseback with that hat. Yes. Nice. And oh, it's really, really hot. So there was that. Oh, gosh. So many things. What 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 else? So I want to ask real quick, though, to podcast fanboy. She has these tattoos on both arms (laughs) and some guys are turned off by a girl Mm -hmm. with a lot of tattoos. Yeah. I have a feeling podcast fanboy that that is actually a turn on for that you. is the biggest turn on yeah give me all of that you can it's you, a little you, edgy it's i love edgy but I, it's well done very classy you know it's not like a sleeve but mm-hmm. it's well, they're, it, they're kind of sleeves well but, but, but there's a lot of different bare skin in between right. it's not like just yeah. all one color right right no that is my jam yeah right there sitting right there that right. is my jam she okay. is so beautiful and and i love the spirit and the edginess and she was very reserved i think the, that yeah. first trip yeah and she kept telling me well i do have a wild side <laughs> <laughs> so we've learned yes. <laughs> and i believed her but i had no idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah alejandra told me the same thing she's like oh i can get a little freaky and i'm like okay well i'm waiting <laughs> <laughs> yes it just takes a little while you yeah. know podcast fanboy and i basically have matching tattoos too we have, oh yeah pretty close i have a you wolf. have a similar one he has right one there. too. Look well, at that. Look at that. And it's a moon. There's a moon. I have a moon. Look at this. Yeah. They seriously are so similar. Very similar. On the Isn't same arm too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pretty crazy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so he's into it. Yeah. So yeah, I know. Well, what do you think about tattoos? I always wonder. I, I'm they a little self-conscious. They don't bother me. Not, not um, your thing. I know Kylie, our guest with the huge diamond <laughs> ring. She didn't have any tattoos, mm. and you would think she would. You would, yeah. Yeah, but she doesn't have any. And mm. and I kind of grew up, and she did too. We had this discussion as I can still hear my mom go, why do you want to put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right? So, yeah. but yeah. it's very rare to meet a girl without tattoos. These, Today. On, these really days. On yeah. Seeking, I know that. Yes. Oh, or yeah. on most dating sites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. they're very acceptable. Yeah, I used to be the opposite of someone who would have tattoos like i was the corporate yeah. worker and in sales and looked very now you know, i'm still on seeking there was this gorgeous girl that i'm looking at her pictures and i actually requested her privates oh little update so seeking has done an update on their software yeah one of the biggest complaints of girls is that guys will ask to see their private photos but won't say anything 
And I tell them the reason why is because they're right up top. You're scrolling down and you just press it and then you're reading the rest of their profile and then you click back. But there's just the really the opportunity to say something wasn't really there. It's just so easy to click uh, request access to the private photos. They have changed their software as of like yesterday where when you click on the private photos, a message box pops up and it says where you have the opportunity to send a message and then underneath is a box like send without a message Oh, oh okay. or oh, request like without a message. So they're trying to solve the, one of the mm-hmm. biggest complaints that the girls have. Great. Cause even in their profiles, girls say, if you request my photos and don't say a word, I'm blocking you. Really? How many times have you, That's s- a have little you read harsh. I, I seen it? Well, I know, but it's it just, they get so tired of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But the way the software is set up, it's just, not conducive to yeah. sending a message. Well, and they're getting a thousand times more message yeah, requests too than true, most guys. Anyway, so, so seeking software has addressed that issue, and I think maybe they've solved it. I think it's a good update. I think it's a really good idea. So anyway, back to the story. There was this beautiful Latina, and you know I like the brown yes, girls. Yes, you do. <laughs> and I was actually showing uh, Alejandra this morning, this girl. She's oh, let me see her. And so we're looking at her photos. And I said, yeah, look, here are some photos. She has some tattoos. And she's like, oh, my God, that girl's gorgeous. She's like 24, just perfect, right? And then there were some other photos where she had a tattoo all the way up her neck. Oh, wow. Ooh. And mm. I messaged her, and I'm like, hey, I noticed some of these pictures. You don't have a neck tattoo, and others you do. Is that something you currently have? And she says, yeah. And I'm thinking, why? Yeah. Uh, why? Neck that's like t- getting I mean, a... I'm not a big fan of that. That's why like getting a tattoo on your face. Yeah, right? yeah. That's Why would a, you do that? You can't hide that. That's a whole different ball game of tattoo. <laughs> like <laughs> neck tattoo. Like that's pretty hardcore. So back to the question, do I mind tattoos? No, I don't mind them at all, except if they're just... Like a neck tattoo. On, on their face or yeah. their neck. Yeah. My niece, she got, you know, one of these tattoos like right across her chest. Really? Oh, you know, yeah. like a necklace type tattoo. Yeah. And it just didn't look good. Yeah. There's yeah. just, I don't know. So. Yeah. So, but if I, you're going I to get tattoos, <laughs> at least try to do them in a way that... Yeah, like a cla- like, classy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, because I have functions. I have dates yes. I want to take my girls to. I don't want to take a girl with a face tattoo oh, God, no. out no, to no, like no. a really nice dinner. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. Even with mine, I like mine, but I know not everyone does. I do worry a little bit. I can mm-hmm. always wear long sleeves if I need to, yeah. but... I was going to comment on that because when we were in my hometown, we went to see my sister, mm-hmm. and uh, she covered up her tattoos for that meeting. I, yeah, oh, did you really? I don't know why. And I, I think just, my sister, just do my that. sister would have been fine, but she doesn't know that. You know? Right. Yeah. So. yeah. I, I didn't take my jacket off. I had a yeah. jacket on with. Well, women, I just don't want anyone to like. You could wear a nice me. blouse or something. To, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. A sweater. Yeah, it's not like whatever. you have a neck right. tattoo or anything. No. That, no. That's going to be there for the rest of your life, or you mm-hmm. know, up, up the side of your face or something. Like yeah, that, I love tattoos. I have always loved them. I waited though till I was in my forties to get any. Really? But, mm-hmm. but I do sometimes wonder, like, was that the best decision? I mean, I think <laughs> yes, unequivocally. Okay, yes. good. Okay, yeah. good. Well, with my job, I work with all like creative people and yeah. stuff. So it's well, you're kind no of artistic. Deal. Yes, yeah. That's very common for yeah. people in that yeah yeah industry or field. Yeah. Or I call her a Renaissance woman. Because she is so talented at so many things. The art that she painted. Yeah. Her job requires a lot of creativity in and of itself. And then she gets back to her hometown and she buys a guitar. I did. And is starting to take guitar <laughs> lessons now. You know, is so. this after your trip? Yeah, yes. after my trip. Wow. Yeah. And I went to a concert too recently with my son, which was one of my favorite bands. But I'm like... Why did I not learn to play guitar? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to, I'm going to try to learn. Yeah. I took guitar lessons for a little while. I can play Camp Town Races, sing <laughs> this song, do da, do da. That's about the extent I got in the. Did, did that oh. one hit the charts or? Uh, that did not hit the charts. <laughs> yeah. I but, can still play it to this day. Oh my gosh. That's I funny. still remember. You remembered that. Yeah. Well, yeah. So Montana trip was amazing. And Yeah podcast fanboy was like now how many days were you there was it four or five four days okay okay or four nights five days did it go quickly or did it seem like eternity very quickly too freaking quick yeah really quick very quick yeah Yeah, so he was i did not like putting her back on that plane right right go home yeah it was sad 
But yeah, he was like, get your ass to Phoenix, girl. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so you guys had a great time in his little cabin getaway. We did. And there, I mean... Stuff did happen. I mean, that first night it did. Like, well, like what happened? You know, some sex stuff. <laughs> Bet- between two consenting adults? You got to be kidding me. Um, I even wore lingerie, remember? Oh, my God, yes. I will never forget that. Yeah, it was blue. I bought it for the trip. It was yeah. pretty. Yeah. Podcast fanboy, were you a little nervous about the whole thing? I, Yes, yeah. I was. I mean, I don't get the opportunity to be with somebody this uh, incredible. <laughs> you didn't want to blow it, right? No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> So, it went yeah. well, Were you though. afraid she's going to be a little judgy of things? <laughs> no, because no. I knew her personality already. She she is not a judger. Okay. Nope. Nope. So I, right. that was not the word, but I, I just wanted to make sure that I'd be good enough for her, yeah. you yeah. know, oh, uh, yeah. on my own. Yeah. It was good. It was all good. I went out. Matter of fact, she was my guest number two, episode number two, uh, or my first guest on episode number two when we started the podcast, but she was a, a bikini fitness model. <gasps> what? Like she competed. Oh, and wow. her body was tight because she was actually right in the middle of prepping for a show. Oh, my gosh. So, she, you know, we'd go out to eat and she'd bring her own food. <laughs> she'd really? watch me eat. And then wow. she's eating chicken and right or whatever, right? Yeah. Prep, prepping for the show. So anyway, we go, we have our sexual fun. and I, But I was a little nervous because, you know, Got a little bit of a dad bod. And dad bods are good. Oh, did I, I say I think, my real name? Oops. <laughs> Marcus has a little bit of a dad bod. Women like dad bods, I think. Yeah. Well, fortunately, she didn't judge me, but I was a little worried. We're yeah. our own harshest <laughs> critics, yeah. Yeah. for sure. Yeah. I'm harsh, a harsh critic against myself. You though, are, too. and I'm trying to break you of that. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, yeah. That was all good. It was really yep. good. It was great. But it was so comfortable, Marcus, because we'd had a couple of really active days and, you know, staying up late and having a great time. And and the weather was really nice. Mm-hmm. And then on this next day, clouds rolled in and it got dark outside and the temperature dropped. And it was just one of those, let's stay inside the house, put a fire in the fireplace nice. and read kind of day. And we fell asleep mm-hmm. on the couch together yeah. yeah. as we were reading our books. I couldn't do that with just anybody. I'm not much of a napper anyway, but I was so comfortable with her that it was. Yeah. It came very easy. It was mm-hmm. so sweet. He was sitting and I had my feet on his lap. We both fell asleep reading our books in front of the fire. It was nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was sweet. So, yeah, lots of good stuff. Any um, other highlights from the trip? Because we're about to get into some more stuff. I ate elk for the first time. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Yes. And what did you think? Delicious. Yeah? It was really good. Yeah, I yeah. liked that. We, we Our did, drive, we took a beautiful drive. That was kind of... The white knuckling drive. That was scary because he was also, you know, you're comfortable doing stuff like that. I am a flatlander <laughs> and <laughs> I... Like you would be looking at your phone, <laughs> playing music. I was, I didn't want to like act like controlling or anything, but I was like, please j- just let me, I'll be the DJ. It, Give it, me your phone. It was only a 2000 foot drop off, <laughs> you was know, so two feet to the scary. side. So. It was so scary. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. I love Montana. I loved it. it Did you guys do any fishing when you were there? No. We didn't. No fishing. Didn't. It gave it, gave it some thought, but yeah. we just had so many other things to do. I so. mean, we had a long list of stuff to do, but I do like to fish. Do you? Yeah. I like okay. stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm really a good fisherman. I can like even tie the hook on and everything, oh, bait, bait my you. own hook, catch the fish, clean the fish, Ooh. and cook the fish. There I can do go. it all. Yeah. Soup to nuts. <laughs> we'll have go. to do that sometime. Absolutely. <laughs> Good fishing right. up there. Yeah. So was there at any point where you went, oh, man, I, I didn't know this. I don't know if I can handle this side of her. Any red oh. flags ever come up? Not that he would tell you here with me in the room. No. <laughs> but we want to know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I can unequivocally say no. No red yeah. flags. Me whatsoever. neither. No, no. Twenty years ago, when online dating first started, I flew a girl from Denver out to Phoenix, and as soon as she got off the plane, I'm like, Oh god! Oh, god, oh I really? Think I made a mistake. Was a she weekend. annoying? Was she and ugly? Then, and <laughs> no, she, she wasn't ugly by any means. But the, as I got to know her personality, it just didn't fit. Ah. And. Okay. Yeah, I just it was a long weekend. Ugh. I mean, we got along, we had fun, but I couldn't wait for the weekend to be over. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, Ugh. but this wasn't the case for you guys. No, no, not at all. In fact, let me ask you, what's your opinion on, you know, if two personalities are very close, likes, dislikes, and, and just 
the way you think about the world, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because we are like the same person of a different gender. Mm -hmm. And, and I love it because we have so much in common right. and we love the same things, but I wonder if there, it'd be better if there were a little few more differences. I don't yeah. Know. Well, you don't want a lot of differences because my ex-wife and I had a lot of differences <laughs> and it just wasn't fun. Yeah. I think we have some differences. In fact, well, I know I'm a little messier than you are. <laughs> I know that. that that's not, I don't know if that's going to end up being a good thing, but yeah. have you noticed that? Not really. No. <laughs> like my stuff is everywhere. You know, when, when people travel and go somewhere and they're true. living out of a suitcase, That's true. It, yeah. does, it, they, it just tends to be a little bit messier situation. Yeah. Well, so. my house is spotless. I keep it pretty I have no clean, doubt. but I do have like trouble putting my clothes away and you are like <laughs> meticulous. Yeah. So down the road, don't say, oh, I didn't know this about you because yeah. she, just she just told you. Exactly. We've got no that. excuses. I'll yeah. play this episode. Now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> remember, not, like, we brought that thing. up. So you yeah. cannot be bitching about it because mm. I warned you ahead of mm -hmm. time. I'm sure I can think of other differences, but well. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, like you like to get up and go have your coffee and stuff I do. before I you get do up earlier anything. than he does. Yeah. And you like to I, shower. I right like to away. shower, mm -hmm. shave, make yeah. the bed mm -hmm. before I ever come out. Yes. So. You got your routine. Yeah. 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 And I get up. You're usually still sleeping. I drink coffee. I like to go outside by the mm -hmm. pool or whatever and have my coffee and play mm -hmm. with the dogs a little bit. So we've got some differences. Okay. <laughs> so. When I do meet and greets, usually it's a couple hours and then, you know, I'll decide whether I want to see him again. But you guys had a very compressed, intense meet and greet for four yeah. or five days. Remember exactly. outside that night I said, podcast fanboy, is this a meet and greet? Would you call this a meet and greet? And basically, I guess, yeah, it was like a Well, week the first long. night was. Yeah. Definitely. First yep. day was. Yep. Yep. That was our meet and I greet. I had a nine hour meet and greet with Kimmy. Really? Oh. Yeah, and we talked about that. I met her on a Sunday for lunch, and then she came over, and we literally just sat on the couch and talked for nine hours. That's amazing. Yeah. I think that's great. Did you? No. Mm. No? It was just <laughs> we talked for nine hours. When I say talked, I am really meant talked. <laughs> Talking. Okay, was that before you used to compensate people for it, or did you give her anything for her uh, time? I put her on an allowance that day. Mm, okay. Yeah, a weekly allowance. Oh, a weekly allowance. Yeah, we lasted a whole three weeks. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh well, I, I mean, didn't know that. Well, if you follow okay. our show, yeah, you'll yeah. know that Kimmy is in big demand. Yeah, and yeah. Keeping her focused is, you know, an issue. Got it. Yes. And I didn't want to hold her back. She had so much potential. And, like, she's met she met a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, uh, I did. Over, yep, knew that. You know, Super Bowl Sunday and That's that great. weekend. And yeah, yeah, yeah. She's off and running, trying to discover what she wants to do in life. Oh, yeah. Well, that's so, good. But... Yeah. She's still, she's still my baby. I mean, she's <laughs> still very, very close to me. I, I barely have talked to her in weeks. And, you know, she just sent me a message like, Marcus, I miss you. Oh, I know. That's sweet. That is so oh, sweet. I, I think it was from Europe because she went, uh, she was one of four or five girls that went with Dr. Charles to Europe. Oh, he had multiple. He took multiple sugar babies. Oh, you're kidding. What trip. does he do with all of them? We're going to find <laughs> yeah. out because he is coming to the party in November and he also oh wants to do a show. Oh, oh good. yay. But we are going to find out. Oh, okay. I can't months. wait for that one. Yeah. So what should I wear to this party? Like just that, like something, something super festive. hot. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, my plan. With these concerts, you can dress up or as down as you want. But, okay. You know. I love to dress up. I'll tell you what, the girls... They knocked it out of the park at the Taylor Swift concert. Oh, yeah. With their dresses and their get ups. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I, I love an excuse to wear it. I mean, just anything dress. that's appropriate for the stripper pole and the transportation. Oh, I do have to think the, about that. The restaurant. Okay. Or the, well, uh, you know, you might get a show. <laughs> You're going to be on the pole. I know you Me? are. Maybe yeah. I might be on the pole. Uh, all right. So, how did it end? How'd that weekend end? Hmm. Well, he took me to the airport. Yeah, we, I mean, we had our nap day like the our, day before. Yeah, right? that, yes. And so. And, and then yeah. the next day, we drove to a different airport yes. uh, to have her fly out. And we listened to yes. the episode. We, we sped did. that one. We yes. actually we pushed a guest back a week so and we put could, yours in his slot. Yes. You know, okay, I was so nervous about listening to that episode what did with you think? Podcast Fanboy. I think it was great. I just was so afraid I was like boring. Also, I was like, are you sure it doesn't bother you? Like me talking about 
other guys or like what you know he's like well, from what lily yeah. tells me uh-huh. podcast fanboy is not a jealous he is guy. not no, no he likes it he likes to hear all that he stuff, actually so. I, likes I it thrive mm-hmm. on it yeah he, he really i kind of do too yeah. yeah yeah i'm a lot like him on that okay that end yeah do you ever get jealous or well sure i get jealous matter of fact alejandra's going out with a guy tonight how do you feel about that i told her more power to you you know why because he's 68 years old. Okay. There you go. And she did a meet and greet with him the other day. And she goes, he's really funny. And I just kind of want to, he asked me to go to Capitol Grill. And so oh. I'm going to go out with him. She loves her steak. So that's and, perfect. Oh, she yes, loves her she steak. Does. She was like, I and, eat steak for breakfast, and for here's lunch, what, for dinner. Here's what she said when she came back from the meet and greet. She met him like at Starbucks. And they chatted for like an hour and a half or so. <laughs> she came back. Well, let me let's preface this. The guy is dying. <gasps> oh, he, no. Yeah, he has, I think he has pancreatic cancer. Oh, yeah, yeah. my God. Yeah. And wow. So he, he thinks he has about three or four years left. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I think there's a little pity there just to kind of give him a good, you know, just let him enjoy life. Yeah. And she's yeah. fun to be around. So, yeah. But anyway, she came back from it and she's like, telling me she didn't even know who she was meeting she couldn't remember she couldn't find his profile so it was like Uh-oh. guys are walking in anyway so she goes so this old guy walks in and then he smiles at me and i figured out that was him and she came back to me and she goes wow you look so young <laughs> <laughs> compared to what she just did oh through. my god well how old are you 55 55 okay yeah yeah so. so he he asked her to go to to steak and she loves steak and she goes hey <laughs> you know I, i'm gonna go have steak with this guy and i'm like okay more power to you and she's like, and you better stay home. I'm like, nope, I've got, I'm going to get a date oh, too. Yeah. How that and did you, or no, are well, you going? I, I will. And then uh, I told her, she goes, well, where would you go? I said, you know, Capitol Grill sounds like a great <laughs> place to go. <laughs> Not awkward uh, at all. Oh my yeah, gosh. So That's we great. went through, we laughed about it. We went through the whole scenario of what if. <laughs> You brought a date to Capitol Grill, and I'm there with this guy. Oh, my gosh. How would that go? You guys would just, like, have your own little inside secret. <laughs> I know. It'd oh, be, that's be funny. funny but. but are you going to have a date tonight? Yeah. 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 Mm. All right. Is so, she jealous? Does she get jealous? Yes. She does. Okay. Yeah. So back to the jealousy thing. Yeah. Do we get jealous? Yes. But I'm not jealous of a 68-year-old guy yeah. going out with 26-year-old Hal Hunter. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah I I kind of see the... Di- and that's the thing, though. We talk about it. So that kind of helps me understand the dynamic of the whole s- situation. Right. And so I'm like, yeah, go out. Give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, oh, well, that is definitely But she's something. not real crazy about me going yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, she wants... Me she doesn't want to hear herself. about it. No, she does want to hear oh. about it. She's I, not crazy about it. Because I went out with a bodybuilder, another mm. one the other day. We went and had sushi. What? And she's five foot nothing and <laughs> has bigger biceps than I do. And just How um, old is she? She was like 33. Okay. Very sweet soul. Like she's new on the site and she's so interested in the podcast. Oh. And she had been listening to it and yeah. just trying to get all the knowledge that she could because she's never done this before. She's only yeah. been on there like a month or two. Mm-hmm. So we had a lot to talk about. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. I enjoy doing that. You know, Alejandra and I have a great connection and we do so much stuff together. But, you know, I, I, I like people. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fun to... I don't want just one friend. I know. So even before this, you know, people talk about how much they hate dating. They hate dating apps and stuff. I always have had great dates with people that, because it's like I'm just going... I don't get nervous usually. And like, I'm just like making a new friend. And it usually, Mm -hmm. anytime I've dated someone from an app or anything like that, we just end up being friends, like Mm -hmm. usually. So, but yeah, I like meeting new people still. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. So, well, that's good. So podcast fanboy, he's not a jealous guy. No, he's not. He likes to hear the stories. He likes me to... Yeah, do my thing. <laughs> you know, when I really like somebody, as is, is obvious in yeah. this case, I re- and this sounds a little trite, but I mean it. I I want the best for them, mm-hmm. and I want them to be happy. And if it takes dating around, meeting other guys to find that and to have a good, fun, interesting life, more power to you. Yeah, and because we live in different states. Yes. Yeah, you know, I, I don't hard. expect her to like be sitting there waiting for the one visit a month, you know, right. mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. it is. I, I want her to go out and have a good time. Well, so. same mm-hmm. with you as well, because I know that you love the ladies. <laughs> 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 so I know I know you're not going to only be like seeing me and like I wouldn't expect you to. So 
But I mean, I'm really have not you guys even dating. We haven't really about talked that, yeah? about this yeah. or anything because it's so brand new. It's like, right. very new. I haven't been dating. I mean, just because I live in a small town, mm-hmm. there's not a big. Dating it's a little harder. Pool. You've got to travel. Exactly. To date. If I lived in Phoenix, I would probably be dating more. But no, I don't know. I'd okay. be dating well, you. <laughs> no, I, I know we're we're starting to run short on time. Yeah. So I want to get into some good questions. Okay. Uh, how's the allowance part work for you guys? You know, have it, you discussed that? You know, it's interesting. We have not. We mm-hmm. have not had a formal discussion about it. Okay. And, you know, it was the same thing when I was seeing Lily. We never once had a mm-hmm. conversation about it, but she knew she was always going to be taken care and of. And Lily was very happy with everything that you did for her. Mm-hmm. She always expressed that to me. Well, that's nice. That nice you to were hear. very, yeah, that you took care of her. Mm-hmm. And it's the same way with Katie. I mean, Katie and, and Lily are a lot alike in many ways. Oh, I know. And I saw how they got along with <laughs> their interview. Oh, my God. And, yes. um, we kind of took over. We were like, <laughs> bye, <know>. Marcus. <laughs> like, I just sat over here like a lump on the log. You know, I'm not averse to having that conversation, and you have to have it in many situations. But with somebody like Katie, I just want to make sure I stay ahead of the curve yeah. so she doesn't feel like she's being taken advantage of in any way mm-hmm. and, and that she's very happy with that component of it. Yeah. Our situation actually, even though it came about as a result of the sugar lifestyle, mm-hmm. we didn't meet on that site. Right. We it kind of happened organically mm-hmm. actually. But at the same time <laughs> if you want to say that. But at, but, but at the same time yeah. I want to uh, you know, respect the process, respect right. the concept. And I yes. don't want to take advantage of that. So, yeah. you know, if she ever wants to have that conversation, we will definitely have it. But I hope yeah. I can just stay ahead of the game a little bit. I don't even so, think we you. will need to have that conversation. We'll just say he's been very generous. Yes. We'll say that. Yes. And he did give me, you know, a, what do you even call it? I don't know. He did. A gift. He did get, yeah, give me a, a gift. Yeah, a financial gift. Yes, yeah. he, he did. And he is the one who brought it up. And I was like, Ugh. I just, it's awkward. It's so isn't it? awkward. Yeah. It's so awkward. But I was like, wow, this is so nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And then he bought me jewelry and bought me things and wined and dined me and flew me first class mm-hmm. to Montana, flew me first class here. Okay. Which so then was you great. guys arranged a trip here, what, two, yeah. three weeks later? Yeah. Yes. Here you are. Basically, right when I got home, we right. arranged yeah. the next You're trip. Like, I we we had to get again. it on the calendar. Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah, it's not going to be a conversation we need to have because I know how he is. So, so we were all excited because we set up a triple date Mm -hmm. and this is the first time that Lily and trucker Mm -hmm. had met podcast fanboy. Mm -hmm. And of course they were all excited to meet you, Mm -hmm. but they were a little hesitant about how it would go. I kept telling her, Lily, it's, I'm telling you, it's going to be fantastic. I was a little worried about trucker, you Uh know, because he is the jealous type when, it was, it was a little bit yeah. when it was he yeah. and me seeing mm-hmm. Lily. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to know everything that was going on in her life and her dating situation. And he didn't want to know anything. Yeah. He's different that, that way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it went well. It was great. It was so yeah. much fun. Got to wear a pretty dress. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. yeah. And we, well, so this kind of blew me away when I was in Montana podcast fanboy popped a big question while I was there. Will really? you, yeah, he was like, will you, it, will you and your kids go to France with me for Christmas? That quick. Uh-huh. You decided that quick mm-hmm. you wanted to, s- I did. to spend a European vacation with yes. her. Yes. Yeah. So I thought there's no way that will work during the holidays. Didn't you think that was a little quick though? Mm-hmm. Not knowing him, no. And that knowing, could be a you red know, flag, you know. I don't think so. in this like could lifestyle be, though, be. I don't feel like stuff like that is a red flag. I mean, okay. this is just what happens, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> well, and, and, and I want to be clear too, you know, I was going to do that trip with my kids yes. regardless. Yeah. I didn't design it around No, no, Katie, no. But I was thrilled when she agreed to come. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just didn't think it would be possible because it's the holidays. I have kids, you know, I didn't think their dad would be okay with me leaving the country with them around Christmas, but I did ask him. And he was like, I don't think I want you to do that, you know. And then he thought about it and he said, that's such a good opportunity. So it'll be go for it. a lifetime mm-hmm. of memories. Yeah. So he really couldn't, he didn't feel right about saying no. So we planned the trip. And so all three of my sons and I are going and his kids and friends and hopefully you. Podcast Fanboy did invite Alejandra and I to yeah. go. And it sounds so tempting. We're going to see if we can't make it work. I hope you can. It, you it, sent me the Airbnb. It's an Airbnb, right? It is. And it's a chalet that's, is that what you call a, it? A chalet, yes. 
it is just magnificent. I mean, it has yeah. an indoor swimming pool, yes. an indoor hot tub, right? Yeah, and an outdoor hot tub. And a, mm-hmm. oh a movie my. theater in the house. Yeah. It sleeps 22. We're not going to have that many people, but... Uh, yeah. It's like 10 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, something yeah. like that, and gorgeous. In France. In the Alps. In the at Alps. At the bottom of Mont Blanc. An hour from Geneva. Well, yeah. we probably shouldn't give the location oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's going to come find us at Christmas. You know, we do have a big following in France. <laughs> <laughs> we do. So, yeah, that was very unexpected. And it like, I feel like I'm living in a dream. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. So we've got this trip, Phoenix. Oh, and then he's coming to where I live to meet my family as well. Before have you ever been to that part of the country? I have. Okay. I have. I haven't spent extensive amounts of time, Mm -hmm. except in one of the major cities in that state. I actually did training for this franchise opportunity that I had uh, when I started that business. But we thought it was a good idea to expose her boys to me before they showed up in France. Yeah. Right. Well, that's a good idea. So we're going to, we're going to do. Now, when does this take place? The first weekend in November. Yeah. Okay. So in about uh, six weeks or so. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Five, six weeks. Because I'm leaving Sunday. For yeah, he's going out of the days. country again. So yeah. Solo. Mm-hmm. Solo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to yeah. be clear of that. Going solo. Yeah, on oh, your yeah, yeah, special yeah. ops, undercover, secret yeah, right. service <laughs> trip, or whatever, <laughs> that we all think you, <laughs> you might be part of. Sometimes we don't know what podcast fanboys do. We just have to guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah a man of mystery. Man of so, mystery. Yeah, everything's going well. Very well. I'm enjoying it. Nothing scaring you off yet? No, no, not at all. Well, and... Because sometimes things can move a little quickly. Well, I mean, doesn't it... I feel like... But when you're older, you're just kind of like, fuck it. Well, yeah. Like, what are we waiting for, right? Exactly. I feel like you move quicker in relationships like this than you typically would in a traditional relationship, I I think. Don't you? It happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you both know what you want and the beautiful part of this trip is i have got to see the wild side of katie come out mm-hmm. you didn't see it as much up in montana as no. you saw it here no yeah no. We, i started noticing a little wild stuff yeah, out yeah. did you last yeah. night oh yeah katie, in the hot tub katie was had a few <laughs> drinks and uh and woo yeah <laughs> put on the green bikini she put on the bikini <laughs> she, she almost fulfilled one of my lifetime fantasies last night can you believe that you know but i discovered that it's not doable Oh, uh, yeah. I, I've always wanted, you know, you, I've, you watch porn, you uh-huh. see these scenes where you, you, know, you, you, get, porn, you get seduced. Oh, in the, I'm a red blooded male. Ne- <laughs> never, never seen it. You know how they get seduced in the kitchen and they have sex on the countertop? Yeah, yeah. Well, that opportunity was there. Mm-hmm. But I realized I would have to get a step stool yeah. to be able to reach. Yeah, your counters are a little high. Your counters yes. are too yeah. damn high. Yeah, so. yeah, it was it didn't quite work. But. Right. Yeah. But that green bikini came off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nice. Well, you came back for your leftovers. Yes, and, and I, I did feel like I was interrupting something. I forgot about <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Katie I, had her hand over her mouth, and I'm like, oh, sorry. I, I, like? I really know I'm interrupting something here. I'll be quick. <laughs> Oh. But Alejandra wanted her leftover steak. Yeah. Of course she did. She loves Maple her Nash. steak. Uh, oh, that place was so cool. You liked it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yes. And then and we got dessert too. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. got their famous coconut cream pie oh, oh, as, that's as my advertised, favorite. right? I would go to that restaurant just for the Caesar salad oh. and, and the mm-hmm. coconut cream How pie. How different was that? It was the best Caesar salad I've ever yeah, had. Yeah. I told you guys it was just, uh, it's wood fired. Who yeah. knew you would wood fire a Caesar salad? Yeah. I didn't who, know that was a thing. Yeah. 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 Delicious. So, Absolutely so delicious. So good. Yeah. So, but it was such a highlight meeting you in person because yeah. we've only met over Zoom before. So you and Lily. So I was really excited and glad we got to do that. Yeah. And I got to check out another Pod Populi location. Yes, so you did. That's a win. <laughs> well, there's still so much I want to talk to you guys I know, about. I know, I know, I know. How fast did this go? <laughs> like, it, blink of an eye, yes. Yeah. yeah. There's st- still so much like that I wanted to talk about, too. Just Well, you are going to be a recurring guest. Yay, one of the characters. You'll be spending <laughs> some time in Phoenix now. So yeah. Get oh, used well, to yes. It. Yeah, for and sure. we're going to actually do some recordings during our party. Oh, So oh, I've, fun. I've got some microphones, and we're going to figure out how to record, maybe at my house during the, our pre-party or during the concert That'll somehow we're, we're going to get some sound bites from that that will be, be great yeah all, all right. right i think i'm going to open an instagram just for my character awesome. so that people can actually follow me for real cool that's a brilliant <laughs> idea yeah 
All right, guys. Well, we've got to run. If you want to share your crazy sugar dating stories, comments, or questions, you can always go to our website at secretsofasugardaddy.com, and please follow us on Instagram at the same name. And again, this is your last chance to sign up for our party, and you're going to want to meet podcast fanboy, Katie, myself, Dr. Charles, so many Kevin, I can't wait to meet Kevin. (laughs) Absolutely. You know, it's funny. Our guest last week saw Kevin walking out because we did a double episode, and she goes, that was Kevin? Boy, he was much different than I pictured him. (laughs) (laughs) But he's still such a great guy. You're just going to meet the whole crew and and a lot of our guests there. It's going to be so fun. All right, Katie, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Podcast fanboy, always a pleasure. It is, Marcus. I appreciate your giving us this time. All right. Mm -hmm. Until next episode. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to connect or even be on the show, we'd love to hear from you at secretsofasugardaddy.com.